in the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. It's a very fulfilling, fulfilling life in this world. If we have Jesus, if we know that we are on the right place, if we are on the right place that God wants us to do, if we know that we are on the center, you are on the perfect and the divine will of God in our lives. But if a person don't know what to do, he's just doing what God, what is in, in his own will, in his own volition, I tell you, there is no peace. There is no peace. Because once we are in, on the right path, God's word will, will light the way ahead of us. What I say, I said, I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God who teaches you the best for you. Direct in the way you should go. And how does God do that? Of course, through His Word. Through His Word. He said, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and in your own understanding, all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. And how does God do that? Through His Word. Through the Word of God. Just always trust the Word. Your personal decision, your family, decision, or whatever. What you want to do, just always trust in the Word with all your heart. No double-minded. Just trust the Word. And God's Word also will help you to walk closely. To walk closely. Right through me, and you, you and, and the best guide book in the world that you also get the very guide himself. And God says, I will instruct you in something 32 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, and will counsel you and watch over you. What a wonderful promise! A wonderful promise from God. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. We as parents, we are always looking after our children about their life, about their future, about what they are doing. How much more our Heavenly Father, who is giving us the instruction, always teaching us the way, will we do? Amen? Amen. Yes. These are the, are the first uh, good reason why we choose the Bible. To teach you God's ways. It will guide you in God's ways. And number three, we can see here, it will strengthen you for your task. It will strengthen you in your task. Because God created you for good works. He created us for good works. You are not saved by good works, but you are saved, you are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. But beloved in the Lord, listen, but once you come to Christ, God has task for you. He has good works for you to perform. And that's why Christian, we are not saved to seek. We are saved to work for the Lord. That's the fruit of our labor. That's the fruit of our faith to see what is in our heart. It's the reflection of our obedience to God and created us for good works to perform. Probably right now, you are doing like ministries in the church. Praise be to God. Because all that you do, because all that you do, okay, all that you do for the glory of God. If you are a student, then you should study hard for God's glory. How many of you are still student? Okay. Good. Yes. Study for God's glory. I'm very happy. We have we have like college and career or, or, or from university or college in, in, in our church. I'm very happy when they are, are very much like involved also in their school. Involved in, in, in the right direction. Involved like being like a president or a vice president of this like as a uh, student council. And thank God for that. And, and, and that's what God has want to do. 
right? For his own glory, for his children. If you are a parent, you should raise your children to the glory of God. To the glory of God. And then if you work, you should do your work for the glory of God. If you are serving in the church or in some form of ministry, you should minister and serve for the glory of God. Everything is all for the glory of God. And God will give us the strength. Where is the strength? All of this. By reading God's word. Reading God's word that use that has in several ways. Because the Bible tells us that God's word equips us in every good work. You see here? In every good works. That's why the second thing we said, all is scriptures, God's bread. It's useful for teaching, reviewing, correcting, training, righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So the word of God will give us the strength and give us the wisdom for us to be equipped for every good work. We are equipped the best. Because all scripture, all scriptures comes from God. The Bible is from is the word of God that been used in our daily living. And also some, look at some in the description in Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Ask for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. For we, okay, imagine that. It's flawless and, okay, Sorry, he is perfect. The word of God is flawless. He is shield for all who take refuge in him. For who is God beside the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and make my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of the deer to enable me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for the battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You give me your shield, victory. You should stoop down to make me great. You broaden the path beneath me as my ankles do not turn. Some healing. A wonderful passage because David was strengthened and equipped for his task through God's imperfect and flawless word. And God's word strengthened you for your task by nourishing his word. Daily, you have lots of battles in your workplace, in your school. So we need the word of God. We need to be strengthened. Because God's word is often be compared to food in scripture. For example, if you will go to work without breakfast, without lunch, and then when you got home in the evening, for sure you are very tired. And you will want to eat more food. Lots of food in the evening because the same thing in our spiritual walk with God. We need the Bible to strengthen us because in Matthew 4, 4 says, God's word strengthen you that us. Man does not live on bread alone, but every word that comes from the one. Can we read all together, please, aloud? One, two, three. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word not only the food for breakfast or the physical food, we need the Word of God. Amen. We need the Word of God in our lives to have strength, we have, we have the power in all what's happening in our lives. We have problems because food is one of the things that we need to eat every day in order to nourish your body. To nourish your body, it is the same way with God's Word. The same in God's word. It nourishes us. Giving us a strength. And also in here. Said, I have not departed from the commands of this life, but I have treasured the word of his mouth more than my daily bread. You see in Job chapter 23, verse 3. I will depart from his command of his lips. Because God's word strengthens you for your task. By giving you the wisdom, you need to succeed. The other day I'm talking to a couple. They don't know what to do. I said to them, James said, if any of you lack of wisdom, they let him pass. We departed in prayer. And he said to me, thank you, Pastor. 